Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yolanda here for all the newbies and welcome back to the ones that are returning. I am three weeks post-op and have I been driving? I drive, but I drive right to the bus stop and back. And the bus stop is literally up the street, but I did drive long distance one day and as far as the pain it kind of hurt a little bit but I used my cruise control so I, bear, I basically drove on cruise control but it does kind of hurt your back when you're just literally sitting on your thighs and driving so as you can tell by the title I'm going to show you ladies guys how to drive using your BBL pillow or how I place my pillow how I place my pillow when I'm driving so let's go bless you baby stay right here Stay right there, Atlas. Okay, so I am in my car. Let me show you. Okay, this is how I place my pillow. Place this right here. Um, excuse the lint. I got lint everywhere I'm at. Oh well. So I adjust my seat. I normally have my seat all the way down and I have my back up and I also lift this up so this is how I sit sit like this drive like that and this is how my butt is placed my butt is literally not touching the the seat so this is how I drive Hopefully y'all can see it. Let me see. This is how I draw. So. It's annoying. I'd rather just let my husband. I'd rather let my husband do all the driving. And I just ride. Because it's. I mean, it's okay when you're not if you're not going so far, but far as going far, a few miles or whatever, it it gets tiresome, tiring, very tiring. Nothing. Gotcha. But Nation and Atlas got it all figured out here. Yeah, look at this. Can I see? Okay. So that's how I drive and at three weeks y'all the itching oh y'all it gets worse but let me tell you um in the crack of my butt here right here literally in the crack of my butt is where I had um stitches at but I opened it back up because I was wiping and I think I wiped too hard and just started bleeding and pus was coming out so I started by taking my antibiotics praying that it's no infection or anything hopefully it's just healing and I just 
I just gotta stop opening it back up. Um, I know that's TMI. That is disgusting, but I mean, it is what it is. I don't want you to make the same mistake. Um, I still wear my faha. Um, different strokes for different folks because I end up getting a um. Hold on, let me show you what I got. I don't know if I showed you this. I got this um, app board. I don't know if I said it in my, one of my other videos, but I got this app board. I got this app board to for the um, pooch that I had right here in my stomach. It's actually flattening. I wear it every single day, all day. I only put these on, like these regular clothes on, to go to the store, and I just really didn't feel like wearing this hot hot garment. So I wear this. I wear my faha, I waist train, and I use this too. So I was like, why do you have all this stuff on? Because I really want my waist to be really, really small. And I did my measurements and I'm gonna do them again so y'all can see. Last night, my I was 30, I was 30, 32, 42. So. Still 30. Thirty three. Uh uh. Hold on. Still forty two. So thirty. What did I say? 30, 30, 30, 32, 42, I think that's what I said, oh, 42, I don't remember, but as far as my swelling, y'all, on my belly button, I was wondering, I said, this feels really, really weird, like a knot, but I have stitches in my belly button, I didn't even know that I had stitches until... Um, my husband gave me a you massage. Have the belly button? Yeah. How? Doctor did it. I have um the um. My husband was giving me a massage and he looked. He's like, you have stitches. But I already told you I felt like he had did my abs. I didn't even know. But my stomach is really really hard. Maybe it's from healing, but it's still hard. And I do have some kind of definition. Y'all, it is so numb. The numbness is just—I don't know if this right here. I don't know what. It's either muscle or it's not. Okay, it can be fluid, but I doubt it's fluid. I don't know. But far as that, I'm doing pretty good sleeping at night. At this amount of days, it's still horrible. And I'm good when, when it's time just to lay down. But like in the middle of the night, it's like my body just literally start locking up. And it hurts so bad. And I don't know if it's because of this garment that I'm wearing. It's bothering me. I don't know what, what it is, but whatever it is. 
It need to stop. I'm just so ready to be normal. But far as my butt. So mom. I'm, I'm I'm doing a video, okay? I'm doing a video. We can talk when that's when my video over, okay? Say you're 16? Yeah. How is this 16? Mm -hmm. I am 16. Mm -hmm. Wait, did you turn like one or something? Yeah. One, two, three. Okay, far as my butt. It's, it's getting soft. It's hard right here and hard right here. So, um, I see some progress, but I am feeding my fat. However, I'm gonna have to take some, I'm gonna have to at least go to a doctor or something to see if I can just gain weight because I have a freaking hard time gaining weight. It's like, only time I gain weight is if I'm pregnant. Period. That's so annoying. It's so annoying. So, and I feed the fat, I eat protein, I um, eat protein, I drink protein. <sighs> I don't know. So, we shall see. But, I just want to come on here and share with you ladies. Uh, comment below if you already got your BBL appointment or if you just got your surgery or if your surgery is due. Comment below and tell me what's your experience and what you think. So, if you're not following me on TikTok, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram. And, yeah, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. I see you beautiful people in my next video. And if you're TTC in, which I probably won't have, I don't know. If you still my TTC babies, I love you guys so, so much. And baby, that's to all of you mamas out there in the TTC community. And I see you beautiful people in my next video. Peace.